Xavier Wills with Michael Galley, RX Muscle Australia. We are wrapping up day two, Saturday at FitX 2014. And mate, we had uh, an awesome day of bodybuilding. I mean, I was competing myself and you were you were holding down the ship for RX Muscle Australia in the in the play-by-play -play and doing all the other stuff and reporting and all that stuff. Mate, it was an awesome, awesome day and we had, you know, another four IFV Australian pros. My day two was massive. I mean, we had a work cut out for us, constantly typing away the play-by-play -play there. Some excellent bodybuilders on stage. I mean, there was some real standouts um, yesterday. It was very, very impressive lineups. Yep. Now we'll kick it off with the juniors. Timmy McKinnon, he looks sensational. I mean, I saw photos of this guy leading up to the show. He's got outstanding legs. They're separated. I mean, this guy, I mean, he has a big future in my opinion. Same. Timmy, I saw photos uh, leading up on Facebook and we, we sort of chatted every now and then. He walked out, he was a clear winner. Legs, he, he's got open men's size legs. They're, they're massive, straighted, everything. Upper body's awesome. Didn't lack anything, came in condition and he was the, the standout of the juniors and no one came close. Let's talk about the under 80s. Uh, Aaron, that was a, an amazing class. I mean, there was good guys in that whole class. I mean, just thickly muscled dudes. Aaron Polites comes out on top. He, I mean, he really pulled it together. Those last few weeks, he really, really pulled it together. He looked absolutely sensational. He improved on last year, and last year he blew me away. His condition was better than last year, in my opinion. He killed last year's look, in my opinion. And obviously, Aaron's a very close friend of mine. I've seen his whole prep. He walked out, stood to the front, front relaxed spread. That, as far as I'm concerned, the best pose in the entire lineup. Uh, hit his poses perfectly, brought his weak points up, which was his back and his legs. A stand out of the day. I mean, he, he really, really is impressive. Uh, he's got a big future, mate. Definitely. Now, Justin Figueroa, he wins the under 90 kilo class. He's uh, He was a PNBA pro, um, so he competed naturally. He, uh, I saw him in the tours, actually, and I said, are you competing? Because I had no idea. And he goes, he goes, yeah, yeah, kind of a last minute thing. And I was like, okay. Uh, and it didn't look like a last minute thing. Sometimes when people say they're competing last minute, they're conditioned, they don't bring their condition, they come in a little bit off. I mean, Justin looked sensational again. Justin, no one really knew that he was doing it, did they? No, no one had heard anything. He'd stayed quiet. He's obviously done the right thing. Came out, looked sensational. I think the best Justin I've ever seen. Uh, stack lineup again. That was a tough, tough lineup. That under ninety class. He dominated. He brought the condition. He had the good shape, the good size. Well deserved victory for him, mate. Yeah, in the over nineties we had Atif Anwar. He, this guy is thick. Like he has that real dense looking muscle. Like his back's thick. He's just got that, just that round, thick look. I mean. I love that look, yep. personally. Uh, was he a runaway? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, Phil Primer, he's, this, this guy's a, a Darwin boy. Phil Primer will give us a heads up. Hey, look out for this guy. He's impressive. I showed you photos a couple of days before. We were like, yeah, he, he looks impressive. He walked out. He dominated from the get-go. Size, shape, muscle fullness, hardness. Runaway winner. Yeah, yeah. I have the exact same opinion as well. Now, in the 212s, this was a heavily, heavily anticipated class. It was, um, I mean, the judges, they said it was unanimous, the decision, on uh, Gary Wright taking his IFB Pro card. He went on to compete in the pros that same day. Uh, but we don't always, see, we don't exactly see it as being a runaway, in our opinions. Um, David Cutler, it looks like he probably settled for second place here again for a fourth, fourth time. A fourth time getting second in a pro qualifier. I mean, David has to be shattered. I mean, I've got, I feel bad for him. I am close with David as well. We have been for a long, long time, and he has texted me a few times. He is shattered. I mean, most guys would be. They've put everything on the on the on the line for this comp. Um, again, we were sitting in the press pit with a lot of the photographers. Quite a few of us did have Dave in front. I, I did tend to focus more to Dave uh, and see how he was. I didn't look a lot on Gary, so maybe I'm being a bit biased there. Um, but good win for Gary. He's come back extremely well from last year. Uh, he's taken all that criticism on board. He, he's he's put it in his favour. End of the day, subjective sport, isn't it? You know, like I, I tend to like the look of, of Cutler over Gary, but I, I can still see why Gary's got it. Um, I think they were definitely the top two. This puts David as a four-time runner-up of the yeah. pro qualifier. And then um, we had um, we had obviously Adam Brown and Mark Gretchen Gretchen there as well. But any other year, these guys could have won it as well. I mean, it was just a tough, yeah. tough lineup. They, they all brought their A game. Uh, I was so happy to see Gretchen at his best ever. Uh, Brown was bigger than I'd ever seen before. You had Rowan Reed up there as well. I mean, you had some yeah. quality competitors up there. That was a tough lineup. Yeah. It was yeah. Huge, and uh, the men's pro qualifier, the open. Uh, it was a battle. It looked like it was a battle between two for me. Um, coming out and looking at it, uh, I came out right as that was kind of starting. And I mean, for me, being honest, we, we kind of looked at each other. We kind of talked about it and said, "Look, we think we're going to have Scott Goldborn radio show this week because um, yeah. you know, he's yeah. going to be happy yeah. and he's going to want to do it because he's probably going to win his pro card." Yep. 
Uh, it wasn't to be. Scotty came in at his all-time best. I think Scott looks sensational. Uh, he was conditioned from head to toe, bigger than he's ever been. But he was just beaten out by the bigger competitor, and the judges went for the size. I mean, Josh has, you know, yeah. for a guy that big, Josh has pretty good shapes. It was just um, conditioning that Scott had over him and probably, you know, maybe a little bit on presentation. Yeah, oh, Josh was huge, and he was round. Um, Scott, I agree, best ever Scott we've ever seen. No, he, nah, he nailed every pose. I, and I think... And while I'm not trying to be biased here as well, but I did favour Scott's look. Um, again, subjective sport, anyone can go either way. But yeah. to me, when they turned around, that's where Scott overtook it. I thought his condition and his fullness and hardness, especially in the lower back, I, to me, that put him ahead. That, again, I mean, I can still see why they picked Joshua as the bigger rounder guy that potentially might have more of a future in the FBB. I still think it should be judged in the day. I mean, everyone's going to be... To the forums already, you can see everyone's tossing this up. Scott won, Joshua won. They were the clear two. Okay, yep. uh, then, you've, then you've had Andrew, then you've got Benny. Again, Benny at his best ever. Still not good enough to match these guys, but Benny's young. He'll, he'll, yep. he'll come back. The thing is, I think all four of these guys were at their best ever. Yeah. And yeah, which yeah. is so so rare to see yeah. on a stage. So I was I was very impressed by the lineup, and um, you know seeing four guys at their best ever, you, you can't beat yeah. that. So it was um, I mean the crowd went nuts. You know it, it was a great thing for the crowd, and this had been built up for the last since we all knew these guys. Oh, look at how much of this has been built up on Aussie Muscle Radio, on Facebook, all the social media, and I think the fans they won in this. Every one of these guys in the two twelves and the opens, they all came in shape. They all looked unreal. They all put on a great show. Um, yeah. We we were the winners. Yeah, exactly. Now in the figure, we just want to mention out one competitor um, that wasn't in pro qualifier, tra uh, pro qualifier, Tracy West. She looked sensational. She looked unreal. I'd, I'd never heard of her before. She walked out. She just looked like a granite statue. You know, her abs just popped. It looked, you know, that movie three hundred, how they had those paint on. That's how it yeah, looked. Yeah, they yeah. were just standout abs. Uh, professional, pose well. Costume was spot on. Uh, she just dominated. Yeah, I totally agree. Now, in the pro qualifier, we had uh, ATP athlete, ATP science athlete, Eliane Lopez. She took it out. Uh, she's probably a little bit disappointed after getting six at the Arnold, and she had two girls that got your high places mm -hmm. than her at the Arnold in their separate divisions, obviously. Uh, she comes back here. She really does nail her look, and uh, I think she made massive improvements over last mm -hmm. year. I mean, you can't deny that. Uh, but, it, I mean... It could have gone either way with um, a lot of these girls because they all bring a slightly different look. I mean, you've got Andy Forbes with the probably slightly more muscular, harder look. You've got you know, Sylvia Kovaskova, who I really I love her physique. I mean, I think yeah, she, she looks, looks awesome. Great. Some people say maybe her legs can, you know, she get a little bit more yeah. sweep on them. Uh, and then you got MJ as well, Emily Jean yeah. Boosgrove Cole and Katie Morris. Katie Morris. I mean, there was top girls in this lineup, and any of them, I mean, any of them could have won their pro card. In all honesty, I felt the same, mate. I know I've had a few of them inbox me and say, "Well, what do you actually think?" And it was one of those calls that clearly were going for what they thought is the judging criteria at at this moment um, yeah. by putting Ellie on there and giving her a pro card, thus putting her straight into the pro show that night. But a case can be made for all those other girls. You know, MJ had a different look, like you said. Andy Forbes had a different look. Katie Morris brought a totally different look than she's ever brought before. I felt bad for all of them because I know that a lot of them have put this on the line for this comp. Yeah. Uh, it's hard. At the end of the day, there can only be one winner, mate, and hopefully all these girls go back and, and keep pursuing what they want to get um, because they're all, they're all great, great athletes, mate. So, yeah. Yeah, and it was, a, it was a tough, tough class. And yeah. um, you've got to take your hats off to, obviously, Eliane for winning it and then all these other girls because, I mean, none of these girls came in off. They, no, all, no. they all look sensational. Yeah. Moving on, talking about our physique, women's yep. physique class, uh, Amy Fox comes in, uh, co-host of Girls Dig Muscle Radio, yes, she comes in, she wins it, I think, hands down. She was worried, I mean, like, but going in, she was the hot favourite going in to win her IFB Pro Card, she wins it, and I think it's almost a sense of relief for Amy, and I mean, when we've talked to her about it, um, I've even talked to her off stage about it, and you almost see her welling up a bit, because it's something, it's a dream she's had, and, and apparently, from what I've heard, um, a lot of these judges were saying that she could beat Dana Lynn Bailey. They, that's, how, that's how much these interna international judges, how much of a rap they have on Amy Fox. I mean, what did you think of Amy's physique? Man, now this is one person everyone wanted to see win her pro card. And she's yeah. been trying for the last few years. She has that look. She, there's, there's no weak points to Amy at all, except sometimes not bringing that condition. She dominated that class. She walked out. I, I started writing the play-by-play. -play. This is Amy's won a pro card. It was that obvious. No disrespect to the other girls, but Amy's that good, mate. Yeah. She is that good. And, I'm, and we're all, how happy are we for her, you know? Oh. Uh, mate, I'm, I'm ecstatic because Amy is Amy's one of the, the good people in the yeah, sport and yeah. she is, yeah, she was just ecstatic. Like, uh, and I think, you know, if she chooses to go on and do pro shows this year, she will, I think she will see her on the Olympia stage and I think we'll see her, her vying for an Olympia in the next few years, which is just 
it's amazing to think of. I almost get like goosebumps actually I'll saying that right that. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's <laughs> extremely exciting. We're extremely excited yeah. for her and um, yeah. Best of luck to Amy, obviously, going forward. Best of luck to all these pros going forward. Uh, I want to thank Tony Doherty, obviously, for rolling out the red carpet once again for uh, myself, Michael Galley, all the RX Muscle team. We got a great shout-out from Tony on stage. He shouted out RX Muscle, which is oh, awesome. We're, I love you know, it. We're doing a good job. Yeah. I just want to make mention, too, of our, of our editor-in-chief of Australia, Xavier, here, mate. <laughs> taking, out, taking out the men's classic, but taking it out in awesome fashion. There were some great competitors in that lineup. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I was stoked. I was in a lineup of 11. Yeah. Um, and there's all good guys in that yeah. lineup, so I'm yeah. I'm very very happy. And I was it's great to compete in such a show like this. Yeah. Like it was just a well-run show. You know, I was backstage. I was you know there were Rowan Untersteiner yeah. and Adam who were top three with me as well, and they're just good people. Yeah. And it, it always makes such a difference when you're backstage with nice it's guys and compete, stuff as well. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean the, the, the experience was good because of the people there, because of the way the show was run. We wasn't yeah. you know being disrespected as athletes and stuff like that. And that's a real credit to Tony. It's a credit to the FedEx crew. Uh, it's a credit. To everyone that puts on this show and puts on this uh, terrific expo. So uh, that's pretty much it from FitX 2014 for Xavier Wills, Michael Galley, rxmuscle.com.au.